distinguished between so students here set of questions are there let us learn the differences between them the first one is the efferent neurons and the efferent neurons impulses conducted in the myelin sheet and the unmyelinated nerve fibers that is impulse conducted by the myelinated neurons and unmyelinated neurons aqueous humor and vitreous humor blind spot and yellow spot cranial nerves and spinal nerves so let's learn the differences between these two the first one is the efferent neuron and the efferent neuron the word efferent means incoming so these neurons conducts nerve impulses towards the brain and the spinal cord efferent incoming they are carrying the information towards the central nervous system that is the brain and the spinal cord efferent means outgoing e efferent outgoing they carry the nerve impulses from the brain or the spinal cord to a muscle or a gland so that means from the cns they are carrying the message to a muscle or a gland so here we can see this is a central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system efferent neuron they are also called as sensory neurons so from the sensory receptor or the sense organs they carry the information towards the brain or the spinal cord so we call it as cns and efferent neurons they are also called as motor neurons they carry the information from the cns to a muscle or a gland so this is the difference about efferent and efferent efferent also called as sensory neurons efferent they are also called motor neurons now impulse conduction in a myelinated nerve fiber impulse conduction in an unmyelinated nerve fiber we know that this myelin sheet is not found on all the neurons in the axons of certain neurons is covered by the myelin sheet and the axons of certain neurons is not covered by the myelin sheet so let us learn how these neurons will conduct the impulse the action potential is conducted from one node to another so on the myelinated nerve fiber we can find the node of ranvier so at, at there is a small junction where the myelin sheet is absent and this is called node of ranvier so here in such a nerve fiber the impulse does not completely move along with the length of the plasma membrane it jumps from one node to another so the impulse rate will be fast so the conduction of impulse is always faster in myelinated nerve whereas in unmyelinated nerve the impulse is carried along the length of the axon of the nerve fiber and therefore the impulse is slow so these are the differences here it jumps from one node to another here it is carried along the length of the nerve fiber it is faster and it is slow next the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor so this is seen in the eye so the eye in the middle layer that is choroid we can see the ciliary body and the ligaments now these two structures hold the lens and this lens separates the eyeball into two things the posterior part is filled with a cavity called vitreous humor and the anterior part is filled with the aqueous humor now this aqueous humor is thin watery fluid it is present between the cornea and the lens so it is present between the cornea and the lens it is watery fluid whereas uh, the vitreous humor it is present between the lens and the outermost layer that is retina and this is a little bit thicker it is jelly like thing and these are called as vitreous humor so these are the fluids present in the eye they are separated by the lens which is present between them next the blind spot and the yellow spot so these blind and yellow spot is found inside on the retina now the blind spot is on the retina present at the point of the origin of optic nerve so here we can see this is the optic nerve this optic nerve originates from here and at the front there is a blind spot so in the blind spot the photoreceptors are completely absent and therefore this region is insensitive to light and no visual formation takes place over here so we refer this to as blind spot so all the photoreceptors are absent 
they are insensitive to light so both rods and cones are absent but on the lateral sides towards the posterior end of the retina there is another spot called yellow spot it is also called as fovea so this is the center of the vision now this region on the retina has got maximum number of cones and and it is sensitive to the bright light so it is responsible for the day vision so yellow spot is responsible for the vision because it has got many photoreceptor cells it is present lateral to the blind spot on the retina and it has got cone cells only the rod cells are absent so the blind spot and yellow spot are present on the eye one is responsible for the vision because of the presence of photoreceptors the other is not responsible for the vision there are no photoreceptors present on it the last one is the cranial nerves and spinal nerves now the peripheral nervous system it includes the neurons which arises from the central nervous system and it is distributed throughout the body now there are certain neurons which arise from the brain they are called as cranial nerves and certain neurons arises from the spinal cord they are called as spinal nerves so cranial nerves arise from the brain and spinal nerves arise from the spinal cord there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves in the human body so cranial nerves arises from the brain spinal nerves arises from the spinal cord so these were the differences between the efferent neurons efferent neurons impulses conducted in the myelinated nerve fiber and unmyelinated nerve fiber aqueous and vitreous humor blind spot and yellow spot cranial nerves and spinal nerves 